couple of days ago, I mentioned in my vlog that I was going to be doing an event today, Sunday, with the Valley Film Festival and the New York Film Academy. It's a Meet the Programmers panel where we've got different programmers and festival directors for different film festivals coming and speaking and talking to filmmakers. Hey! What's up, Aaron? We the, just saw each other yesterday. The man. Feels like. <laughs> yes, we in 2018, and now we're here supporting Valley Film Festival. It's gonna be an amazing day. So this is Chai. What's up guys, Chai you want, you want to tell them what you do? I'm a filmmaker and we're building a platform that connects filmmakers with their fans. It's called Lights Camera Connect. And this panel is connecting filmmakers with film festivals and telling them how they can submit and get their film screen. We're going to be doing a live stream and I need to help set that up so we should probably head inside. Let's go inside. Let's do it. This is the coolest panel setup I've ever seen. Instead of having a long table where everyone has to sit next to each other, it's kind of fun and intimate. And red. Chai, how does it feel to be our hero? I'm excited uh, that we're live streaming to Facebook. <laughs> and that the world gets to see this incredible information. Knowledge is like the essence of success. So Chai actually had the device that we needed to connect the camera out there to this computer right here. And this will connect to our Facebook live feed. So we're good. This event might actually be a success. I've been so busy setting that up, I haven't had a chance to enjoy our little party. This is Saja, she's kind of like running the entire show back here with the New York Film Academy and kind of getting everything set up so that we can actually have the live stream going. So how'd you feel that one, Tracy? Uh, I think it went really well. You know, it was the very beginning. I forgot my train of thought, but I rebounded it well. <laughs> I was actually upset I didn't get a chance to ask. By the way, this is Tracy. Tracy's our fearless leader at the Valley Film Festival. I've been working with her. Actually, today, did you see the notification? Yes, we've been today, friends for like nine years. Nine years. Today is our Facebook friend anniversary. So we're backstage from the theater right now where we're just having the panel. This is actually our highest engaged and viewed live stream that we've done for the Valley Film Festival, so I'm excited. I think Tracy's excited. And now we're gonna, Chai is over here, our Definitely. hero again that saved the day, that made the live stream even happen, and he's about to do some interviews with the panelists he's over the here. the hero? Oh, Chai, thank you. No, you made the live stream happen. We all, we all came together, that's what happened. One of the things I was hoping to do today before that panel, wow it is breezy out here today, one of the things I wanted to do before the panel was to get some drone flying in. I'm a part 107 pilot, I've talked about it before, that's kind of one of my plans of leaving my day job and yet, yet I don't fly as much as I should. Where I'm currently standing is actually restricted airspace because that way, about five miles, is the Burbank Bob Hope Airport. However, there's a new system in place where some of that airspace can actually get unlocked by Part 107 pilots. And usually, it takes 90 days to submit waivers, but now there's a new system that can do it in like 90 seconds, as soon as you take off. I haven't done it yet, and I need to figure out how to. So I'm going to do a little test here on the edge of the restricted space. I won't be able to go up as high as I normally do, but that's okay. Also, one of the things I do is I connect my phone up to the controller, but I've been wanting to connect my iPad. And so what I have here in this bag from Amazon, I haven't even looked at this yet. I just ordered it online the other day. And here it is. This is not a sponsored video, but this is from 
PGY Tech, I don't know if you're supposed to pronounce that. This will go where I'd normally put my phone and then my iPad straps to the top of that. We'll see how this works out. So this is a test of two things. A test of the iPad holder to control my drone and a test of unlocking restricted airspace near the Warner Brothers lot. Now that is a much bigger screen to be able to see what my camera, what my drone sees up in the air. So there is a fatal flaw in my plan. In order to make this work, I need a longer cable connecting the iPad to the controller. And that's something I simply didn't bring. I can still do one test of two today. So this is the AirMap app. And as far as I can tell, it looks very similar to the actual DJI app. I'm just trying to figure out how to unlock the authorizations. Okay, this has been a total fail on multiple levels. First, I don't have the correct cable, so I have to plug in my phone, and then I can't figure out the app. I finally find the place in the app to create a flight plan, and then it won't let me submit it. It says it'll automatically be rejected because of aircraft uh, FAA authorization, and that's what I'm trying to do with the app, so I'm, I'm completely confused. I don't know if there's a special designation for the Burbank Airport where you can't use the app, even though you're supposed to be able to but I'm, I'm gonna have to keep playing with this. You know, normally I would have shot this video and then been really frustrated with the failure and then just scrapped the footage and never used it. But I'm gonna include this in the video because I wanna show you guys that it's not always perfect. The vlogs don't always go as planned. But the important thing is, is not to stay in failure. Get up, get going, adapt, modify, don't just walk away because if I accepted the failure and the defeat like I normally do and just go, well, I'm not gonna vlog today, that's one more day I didn't shoot content to put out. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here other than just don't, don't succumb to failure. No one ever gets from the bottom to the top overnight without any failures. Those who succeed are really those who've just failed again and again and again and not given up and quit. No matter what it is that you're doing, no matter what it is you're trying to do, whether you're creating, whether you're striving for something, don't give up at the first failure, keep going. I gotta get going now, I gotta go to church, and I, I need to get something to drink, I'm thirsty. It's, I'm still a little dehydrated from yesterday. But I'm gonna do this flight test again real soon. <laughs>